the unusual. From the edible to the rideable, the hand prop room leaves other prop houses far behind. In the old days, studios had their own prop departments, but no one ever had a selection like this. Charles Olson has a staff of 42, just to keep everything straight. You have to have constantly people cleaning the, uh, the pieces, maintaining it, getting parts for it, um, and just the overall expense of it. It's much too hard to maintain, and the studios pretty much have eliminated it. Hello. I'm calling from Los Angeles, California, from the hand prop room. A full-time yeah. research staff tracks down props and ensures props are historically accurate. After all that research, many props never make it on screen. But that doesn't mean they weren't a big part of the filmmaking process. For example, when we did Mommy Dearest, Faye Dunaway had researched and knew that Joan Crawford was very into knitting. So that we did all this knitting stuff for her. It never showed up on camera, but between every take, she went off camera, she sat down and she knitted to keep herself in character. Charles Olson has little trouble keeping gunslingers in character. The prop room has one of the largest gun collections anywhere. Authenticity makes a film believable, and Charles Olson travels the world acquiring new props and observing people. His latest adventure? In Peru. I stopped two policemen on the street and asked if I could take pictures of their vehicle and of them, and uh, it's a fairly risky thing to do in a third world country. I had someone interpret for me, and they were very helpful, and we needed that because you never know when they might be shooting something that would require Peruvian police. And you never know when someone will need dead ducks. So when the staff isn't out buying props, they're making props. Actors especially like props that can be stand-ins. Is this the kind of dummy they use in car wrecks, throw off a building, off a cliff? Occasionally they get burned, you name it. Then maybe the pie or the uh, steamed cup of coffee will work. Yeah, those will be fine. Those will go. So it's a one-stop shop Hollywood style. A place that seems to be prepared for everything, even the hereafter. But Charles Olson doesn't want to go anywhere just yet. I've been here for eight years, and I, I have to admit that I enjoy coming to work every day. I enjoy looking at the things. I see things that I've never seen before. And we always have new things coming in. Now among Charles' props are some legitimate stars, and he sent a few along. Here is the trademark cane Robert Downey Jr. used as Charlie Chaplin. Charles also provided various knives, crucifixes, and vials of holy water for Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. And can you name the Academy Award-winning Best Picture that featured this fashion accessory? <laughs> That's right, Charles provided Anthony Hopkins with his straitjacket for Silence of the Lambs. We'll be right back. Next, 